Ah, a little flick of the mullet to you guys. How are you today? It, we're back on the second channel with another Reddit video. It's been... Uh, I mean, I haven't done one of these in like four weeks now, I, I don't think. So, <laughs> we can sort by best of month. That's what that means, folks. So, get excited. And we're going to do that. We're going to jump into it right before, you know, right before we, you know, we do a sponsor. Just hang, hang out for a sec. Guys, <sighs> I would like to talk to you about Current. It's a fully mobile bank with a Visa debit card. It is truly the bank of the future. And now what does that mean? Bank of the future. I'm, what are you picturing? Robot ATMs? You know, that come to you, they come to your house, you summon them and they show up at your door. And they're like, please withdraw cash now. No, maybe in five to 10 years. But it does mean that you can use 55,000 ATMs for free. It works with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, Venmo. It has a free overdraft of up to $100 and it takes two minutes to sign up. And then the card ships to you for free. It could not be easier to join the bank of the future. It's a real bank account with no hidden fees and no minimum balance requirements. And it gets you paid up to two days faster, meaning if you usually get paid on Friday, well now you get paid on Wednesday and you can do a little thirsty Thursday with that new cash. So hit the link in the description right now if you wanna join the bank of the future. Thank you, Current. All right, you already know what it is and what it does it. Let's do it. Reddit.com slash r slash Corbin Co. Pow! Let's see. We got we're at seventy three thousand chodesters. I almost just cried. I was not expecting to see a seven in that first number. There, we've broken through. We're in the seventies now. I feel like fucking. This, I feel like Bitcoin right now. That's what I feel like. I mean, it's unreal how fast this community is growing. And uh, invest in it now if you'd like to be a millionaire one day. That's my advice. Cody deciding what content to make for his next video. Cut Reddit. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. And within 10 seconds, we've we've gotten got, folks. We've been had. Within 10 seconds, I've been called out, and it's true. It's true, because I just posted a cut video today, and now I'm filming a Reddit video right afterwards. <laughs> and that is sad, but it, dude, these are the best, man. Reacting to, to cut shit, look. As much as I can rip on those videos, they're so good because the video is so good in itself, right? That's the beauty of this genre of content is I don't actually have to be funny. I can just watch something that's, you know, I'm just a reaction YouTuber. No, I try my best to be funny, but what I'm saying is, you know, when, when you have an isolated piece of media that's so awkward and funny on its own, it's just so much fun to watch, to be in, to watch that with you, you know? And so, I don't know why I'm holding this, but I don't smoke these, it's just laying here. It's, I don't know why, it's, it comforts me to hold it. Laughing at Cody's haircut. Realizing that he's probably afraid of going to the barber shop because Jake Paul and my shoulder. Sick of this shit. BFF's podcast, we did that. Noel and I did the BFF's podcast, which I was excited for. And the third question was, what about this Jake Paul thing? Stop, stop, it's over. It's like two years old, you know? I mean, no shade to uh, Dave or Josh, you know? It seemed like they were just reading off the sheet, but um, you know, I just don't wanna talk about it anymore. Tell me this doesn't look like Cody Co. Yeah, it, holy fuck, that does. What the fuck, that's freaking me out. That looks exactly like me. Perfect flowing hair. Hot. Turns me on a little bit. How to storm the Capitol in a God honoring way. <laughs> How to absolutely destroy pussy in a God-honoring way. <laughs> How to put your entire net worth into Bitcoin in a God-honoring way. How to fart directly into someone else's mouth in a God-honoring way. How to honor God while watching German fart porn. How to honor God while looking at wiki feet. These are the, the really the videos that we want, you know? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know how I can honor God while I'm doing the most depraved shit that I do, you know? Percy Jackson looks like a mix of Kelsey and Cody. Yeah, that's, that's freaking me out. That's what our son is gonna look like. Um, okay, these are all like, these are, it's not even worth it going top by month because it's just like, this is old, you know? This subreddit is so popping now, it's moving so fast that this content is stale and it's dated and I hate it. So we're going back to this week. Screenshot of the unedited version of Cody's newest video. <laughs> Muñano. Okay, <clears throat> I want to comment on this real fast because this is this is the place to do this. So a lot of 
I got a lot of comments, a fuck ton, that are that are like, dude, Cody's so bad at realizing that he's these are staged. They're not fucking staged. The first like eight, and I made it, I made it a point to watch it as many times as I could to figure out whether or not it was a paid actor or not. And you can tell it's real. These people are actually reacting to this. Either that or the best fucking Instagram actors in the entire world. Because you know that kid's not paying well for an actor. And that's why you can tell later when he starts faking them, you can tell clearly because he's paying these people a hundred bucks and they're not good actors to go do the thing, right? But in the beginning, the first however many videos I watched before the obvious fake ones, I think those are real, I really do. And I think if you don't think that, then you're then you're the one who's naive. And you're, you're stupid, so. Ha! <laughs> the end of that video made the whole cringe of the first part worth it. I was laughing so hard at him walking around talking to himself about absolutely wrecking people. <laughs> yeah, okay, so here's another thing about this. It, even though I was like not actually pranking people and just talking to them like no, a normal person would, this type of video is still so awkward to film. So I don't know how that Munyano kid does it. I mean, I'm not saying it's respectable. I'm saying it's hard to just scare people, like normal people that are, aren't doing anything, I don't know. I felt bad even just saying hi to people. I'm like, I don't wanna bug you. Sorry, hi, sorry. I know you're just doing your thing. I, you don't know who I am, I'm a stranger. <laughs> sorry. Everyone, please stop posting pictures of any white male ages 20 to 49 with long hair. We get it, his hair is long now. It has been for months. We are more creative than coming up with crappy cheap posts like that, come on now. On the Bachelor sub, the mods only allow comparison posts on Tuesdays. <laughs> At mods, maybe implement a similar rule. <laughs> yeah, Tuesdays, what's the shitty meme day for us? What's the shitty, should we make it Sunday, the Lord's Day? That's the that's the day that you can post shitty, watered down memes, Sunday. Because it, you know, it's, it's the day of rest, you don't have to think. You can just bleh. Cody looks like bleh. This is what Cody looks like, this is paintbrush that Cody looks like. I do like that one though. I think that'd be good. And then we could do like a, we could do a new series on this channel where we just, it's called the shitty memes. And we just look at the worst memes. And that's what it'll be. Every Sunday, we post the absolute least funny worst memes that don't make any sense that we possibly can. And then we review them. Let's start that. New series alert. But ding If you know, you know. Oh, I like this. Ah, this is from that movie that I reacted to. What's it called? Velocipaster, right? One of the greatest movies of all time. Hey, if you have another really bad movie like this that I, I should watch and review, please leave that in the comments below. The video this week was so top tier cringe that I almost had to turn it off in the middle because it was hurting my soul. Like the pranks were making me legitimately angry. The wholesome pranks at the end completely turned it around. King cringe at it again. Yeah, no, this was uh, this is what I'm saying. And I just want to reiterate, I do think that the, one, the, sh the really shitty ones he was doing in the beginning were real. And that just makes it so much worse that this dude honestly thinks that that's funny or okay. Or even the kids at the end just just in a target, just being shitheads. I mean, I guess that's part of being like a team. But I just, it sucks. And TikTok has just ruined society. <laughs> Everyone's walking around with fucking cameras now, with telephoto lenses, watching their friends fuck around with shit that they don't, that they shouldn't be, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm just a boomer. Got Reddit joined the Chodesters just to show everyone this accidental screenshot I took the other day of Cody being sus. What? I'm jerking a dick off, so what? It was not accidental at all. Waiting for Cody to post new content like, come on, do something. Yeah, I know. I I don't know. First couple weeks of January, I was like, I'm doing dry January too. And so I'm not, it's not like I'm doing it. I'm bored. I'm sober all the time. I'm just bored. But I don't know why I didn't post anything. I didn't have any ideas. I was just like, bleh. You know? And I was getting used to my new life. As a sober guy, you know, it's boring. Staring at things and they, the days are way longer, <laughs> which is good. What is this? Bethany of Girl Defined does not care about Cody, lol. Thoughts on Cody Co. I literally don't care, lol. I've actually met some nice people who found my page through his videos. It's the internet, anything goes, unless you're the president. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, she had to make that political too right at the end. <laughs> How did I not see this, dude? Nobody tagged me in this. Wow, that's funny. Damn, sucks that she doesn't care though. She literally doesn't care too. That, that's like really not caring. Fuck, man. Damn. I thought we had something, Bethany. You know, I thought we just memed on each other, but if you don't care, then maybe I shouldn't care either. <laughs> Damn. Sad. I'll never forget this gem. Yeah, here we go. This is a good 
This is a good one for shitty meme Sunday. You know, when my DoorDash arrives, I be like, <laughs> what's the shot? What's the shot of just my crotch? What is this? This is just my dick and balls. That's all that is. How did I, why did I green light that? Yeah, get a little closer, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah punch in. Yeah, get right up, make it a close up. All right, boys, your time to shine. Holy fucking hell, that's good. Oh my God. Damn, that's sick as F word. All right, this is a little funny. This is a little bit funny. <laughs> All right, fine, it's a little bit funny. I like it. The resemblance is without friction. Save it for Sunday, bro. Yeah, this, I posted this on my story. What is this comment? That hair is not cute and you aren't even funny. You used to be cute and also not funny, but now you're neither. <laughs> So you just watched my videos because you thought I was cute? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take that as a compliment, I guess. This is nice, but it's so funny. All right, let's go to hot. Let's go to hot. Let's see the sexy ass posts. I am once again asking you, can I quiz you on ocean facts? <laughs> Yo, can I quiz you on ocean facts? That's a good Tinder opener, you know? Can I quiz you on ocean facts? And then she's like, yeah, sure. You're like, and then you're like, what's my favorite ocean animal? She's like, what is that? And you say, manatee. Man, a t-shirt. Would look good on the ground. Yours. All right, blocked. Cool. That's cool, too. Someone exposed Cody's secret Finsta pics all over Twitter. This is shocking. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't get this, I, the, at the end of the last podcast episode, I talked about how much I hate horses and how much they trigger me, so this sucks and you got me, and you fucking got me. God damn it. We started the episode getting got, and now we just ended it getting got, and that's the theme of this one. We got got, all right? Reddit got me today. You got me, you pranked me. I'm pr I got pranked, so. You know, I guess that's just the mignano of it all. I can't even say that anymore. Mignano, mignano. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, <clears throat> I love you, all 72,000 of you. What, I mean, what can I say? I'm speechless, truly. That's the most amount of people that we've ever had subscribe to the subreddit. And I'm sure next time there'll be even more, which blows my mind. And so thank you. Hop on the train if you want to, you know, be part of this is basically like crypto right now. Seriously, that's how that's how big of a wave this is. You're talking about you hear, you know, you hear your family members at home chirping about, oh, should I buy cryptocurrency? You're like, no, you should join Cody Co's subreddit, actually, because that's rocketing up even faster. We're going to the moon. And I hope you know that, because I do. See you next time. I love you. And see you on Sunday for Shitty Meme Sunday. All right? Bye.